Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply mixed numbers and whole numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here this given mixed numbers or mixed number to be multiplied by a whole number. So we have here 3 and 1 half times 3, your whole number. So the question here is that how are we going to multiply this mixed number by the whole number. So if you want to review our previous topic, so I will put it here. You can see the top card on the right side of our video. So you can watch how to multiply mixed number by another mixed number. So what's this process? First, you need to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So let me review you how to transform into improper fraction. So first, we will multiply the denominator by the whole number, which is 3 times 2, that is 6, plus 1, that would give you the answer of 7. Then copy the original denominator, which is equal to 2, then times 3. So now, what's next is you will directly multiply 7 over 2 by 3, but Always remember that if you want to express 3 or a whole number into a fraction, you can put 1 here because we have an invisible 1 as our denominator. So let's multiply. 3 times 7 or 7 times 3 is equal to 21 over 2 times 1 that would give you the answer of 2. Now, as you can see, your answer here is 21 over 2. So we need to convert this one into a mixed number. So the equivalent mixed number of 21 over 2 is how many twos do we have in 21? We have 10. Okay? And the remainder there is equal to 1. And then copy your denominator 2. So either of the two, we can choose this answer. We can choose 21. over 2 or 10 and 1 half. So in the next part of our video, we will talk about another example wherein we will multiply whole number by a mixed number. Now let's talk about these two examples. So we have here 15 times 3 and 1 third. So first thing we need to do is to convert first this mixed number into improper fraction. So let's repeat our process. 3 times 3 is equal to 9, plus 1, that would give us the answer of 10. You can copy your original denominator, which is 3. So this would be 10 over 3, times 15. Now, we will express 15 into a whole number, into a fraction rather, by putting 1 in the denominator. So as you can see, we can directly multiply 15 by 10, then 1 and 3, but we can use cancellation to lessen the number or to lessen the numbers. Here, we can eliminate 3 and it will become 1. As well as 15, it will become 5. So as you can see, all we have now is 5 times 10. That is 50. Over 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. And to simplify our answer, 50 over 1 is equal to 50. This is the answer for item number 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, we are given 3 times 9 and 4 over 5. So we will copy your whole number 3 times. Here, we will convert this into mixed numbers. So we have 5 times 9, that is 45, plus 4, that is equal to 49, over 5. So we will express this into a fraction. So we have now 3 times 49. 3 times 49 is equal to 147. 1 times 5, that is equal to 5. And as you can see, we have here this 1. 147 over 5. We need to express this into whole number. So we will try 
to manually divide these numbers. So we have 147 divided by 5. 14 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. So what we have now is this is 4, bring down 7. What's next is 47 divided by 5 that is equal to 9. This is 45. As you can see, our difference here is equal to 2. This is our remainder. So what we have now is that this 147 divided by 5 is the same as this will be your whole number, which is 29. Copy your original denominator, which is 5. And this is your new numerator, which is equal to Therefore, the correct answer for number 3 is equal to 29 and 2 over 5. So we can also accept 147 divided by 5 or over 5 if your teacher will allow us, will allow us to accept improper fraction. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to multiply whole number by a mixed number. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but you hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!